Hey, lovely viewers welcome to my channel Pastime Shows. Salem is in for a wild ride as Days of Our Lives gears up for a whirlwind of drama. With the heartbreaking loss of John looming over the town, the residents must find a way to carry on. Meanwhile, Johnny's sneaky antics are setting the stage for some serious chaos, as his latest scheme with Chanel spirals out of control. In a shocking twist, imposter Abigail's true identity is revealed, and Nancy has a bold new pitch that could change body and soul forever. Don't miss out on the roller coaster of secrets, schemes, and emotional farewells. Days of our lives without John, as Salem braces for a terrible loss, here's how the show will go on. Fans of Days of Our Lives and Daytime Television were taken aback to hear over the weekend that Drake Hodgston had gone away, one day short of turning 71. The grief is only getting started, but the tributes have been coming in. Simply put, we didn't anticipate having to say goodbye to our dear John Black. Because we'll have to consider what life in Salem will be like without John Black sooner rather than later. Not much will change in the near future, albeit regrettably, we have already witnessed Hodgston's last moments on the program. Given everything his family is going through right now, it's unclear how the Sudzer will write around his absence. However, some of it has already been shown to us on TV. Brady's confidant and investigator, rather than John, was Eric, who cleared his name by learning the truth about what had transpired with Sarah. And after his name was cleared, Brady's stepmother, standing in for his father, called Marlena to celebrate. Then there is Steve, who, in his investigation of Abigail, has essentially been working alone since he doesn't have his partner with whom to share ideas. And as of today's show, we found out, John is traveling with his father out of town. And until John is officially bid farewell, we have a hunch that this will be happening quite a bit. The bad news is that Days of Our Lives is going to go so fast that we might not see him go by summertime. Perhaps, though, there is solace in the fact that it will happen during the 60th anniversary season of the show. The untimely deaths of John Aniston and Bill Hayes have been devastating blows to the program during the past few years. And by the time their portrayers passed away, Bill and Doug had already drastically reduced the number of appearances they made despite the fact that both actors were also very well-liked and respected. To use the baseball terminology that he so renownedly liked, Hodgston's passing, at least to those of us who follow Days of Our Lives, came as a complete surprise. Although it wasn't an accidental diagnosis, pancreatic cancer can strike quickly and severely. Because of the interval between his final moments and Hodgston's passing, Maybe the show had enough time to arrange a fitting on-screen farewell for John. Man of the family. The entire town will tremble as a result. Not a single household will escape the news unscathed. There's little doubt the Demaras will sense it. For years, John and Stefano were at odds because the antagonist used Marlena's boyfriend as his actual pawn. Furthermore, John is both Kristen's ex-boyfriend and Johnny's grandfather. The Kiriakis family will also be severely impacted. With Victor's daughter Isabella, John has a kid named Brady. His connection with the late industrialist and mob boss was not easy. Even after discovering he wasn't a revived Roman, John remained very close to the Brady family despite not being a Brady. After numerous ups and downs, Marlena and John had at last attained the enviable status in daylight where their union was fixed in stone until death do them part. Regretfully, none of us could have predicted when that day would arrive. Marlena is going to experience agonizing grief. It's also uncertain if she will ever want or even find love again after losing John. She can at least rely on her family, though. There's a lot of family there, even if we might forget because many of them are currently out of town. John, Roman, and Marlena all belonged to the same loving family, with the exception of Sammy's adolescent rebellion when she attempted to sell John's only daughter, Belle, on the black market. 
it's highly likely that Marlena's children, Belle, Sammy, and Eric, will return, yep, he will be leaving town once more following this Brady drama, and Carrie will undoubtedly come back with Austin to bid him farewell. Paul must also go back for his father, and we would be shocked if he did not return with Andrew by his side. The grandchildren are another story. Claire, Will, Allie, and possibly Sydney again are among them. We know that many will be back for Doug's goodbye in around a month, but let's hope that at least a few of Marlena's children stay behind to support their mother following John's death. That might be the only good thing about anything. Additionally, Brady he will take a serious hit from this. It's been difficult enough for him to battle alcoholism right now, let's hope he doesn't feel pressured to pick up a drink again. All of this may, however, be for the best since it will fortify his determination moving ahead and enable him to deal with his father's passing from a stronger position. Man of Enigma To put it mildly, the SPD is facing severe challenges. In half of their instances, they were forced to rely on Black Patch and its ISA contacts, if not the private eyes themselves, in order to locate and save people. Even though Steve is still a formidable force, losing John will be very felt. It might even cause him to re-evaluate his desire to continue the practice. If nothing else, we hope he does so in memory of our beloved friend. We have a suspicion that Steve will be working alone for a while rather than finding a new collaborator. John is not someone who can be easily replaced. Hopefully, Black Patch will continue after this. It would be wonderful if the program invited Paul back to follow in his father's footsteps if Steve does find someone else to work with. He would be the most qualified replacement at this time, given the two had previously collaborated as private investigators. Besides, if his admirer Andrew continued in the ISA and provided the news partners with a direct channel, he would be damn helpful. Almost nobody in Salem can claim that John Black hasn't had an impact on their life throughout the years. To put it briefly, days of our lives would never be the same without Hodgston and his iconic role. However, life and the days of our lives continue even in the worst of circumstances. Spoilers for Days of Our Lives Tuesday, October 22nd, Nancy pitches Joy as new body and soul star as Johnny sneaks around on Chanel. According to spoilers for Tuesday, October 22's episode of Days of Our Lives, Johnny DeMera will withhold secrets from Chanel DeMera, which will pave the way for further problems. At a body and soul rehearsal, Johnny thinks he saw Chanel sultrying with Alex Kiriakis, but instead of confronting her, he's just silently furious. Given that Stephanie Johnson was the one who had sex with Alex in the first place, Johnny's constant lying is causing needless strain in his marriage. Sadly, when Johnny lies to Chanel and eventually makes his way to small bar, skulking about on her will now be on the list of things to do. On Tuesday's Days of Our Lives episode, Joy Wesley and Nancy Miller will be returning to the city, and that's where Johnny will meet them. According to Day's teasers, Johnny and Joy will get along well and that when he opens up to her about Chanel, cheating on him, she will sympathize with him. It appears that Joy and Johnny will eventually share a bed, which means chaos is in store. Nancy will have the opportunity to meet Bonnie Kiriakis and persuade her that Joy would be a wonderful addition to body and soul. Bonnie will consent to approach Abe Carter and attempt to get Nancy's employment on the program. According to teasers for other days, Justin Kiriakis will meet up with Alex and get updates on some significant life developments. After discussing his new position on body and soul, Alex will also drop some spoilers regarding Stephanie. Though it's tricky, Justin might get the impression that Stephanie and Alex have moved past their friend zone once more. Alex might confess that lately, the temptation has been too much to resist because he and Stephanie can't seem to stop themselves. She'll tell Jada Hunter everything about her encounter with Stephanie and how she ended up in bed with Alex again. Jada will try her best to steer Stephanie in the direction of romance while also providing some relationship advice. 
we'll keep you informed about Stephanie and Alex's attempts to move forward as our forecasts for the following months suggest that they will genuinely give their relationship another opportunity. Don't miss what's coming up in Salem, as spoilers for days of our lives indicate there may be more romantic turns in store. Day 2 Week Spoilers for Days of Our Lives, The Identity of Imposter Abigail is Disclosed. The two-week spoilers for Days of Our Lives indicate that the phony Abigail Devereaux is revealed. Chad DeMera discovers moreover that Katharina Green is his bride. Is she the long-lost daughter of Constantine Meliunis? In addition, the recently wed pair lifts themselves up and determines their next course of action. To take up his position in the Kiriakis household, Philip Kiriakis returns to Salem in the interim. Will he defend Titan Industries in battle? There are rumors that Titan's boardroom is starting to fill up. And lastly, elegant Nancy Wesley wants her daughter Joy to be successful. On the 60th season of the NBC Peacock exclusive, she is worried about the young woman's extracurricular activities with the attractive guys of Salem from October 21st to November 1st, 2024. The story of fake Abigail Devereaux is revealed. According to Days of Our Lives two-week spoilers, Katharina Kat Green is the real name of the fraudulent Abigail Devereaux. Steve Johnson can be seen racing in to save her brother from killing Chad DeMera in recent episodes. Patch confronts Abigail, his fictitious niece, and informs Chad of his knowledge. Additionally, the two-week spoilers for Days of Our Lives suggest that the imposter's tenure as Abigail Devereaux is over. Cat Green, the con artist, has been employed by Clyde Weston, as has her brother, Dr. Mark Green. Their mother was in danger from the cunning prisoner. All the phony Abigail or Cat could do was con the widower. Fans will discover more about this woman's decision to play Abigail Devereaux on Days of Our Lives during the coming weeks. Viewers also discover that Abigail or Kat might be the deceased daughter of scammer Constantine Meliunis. He consistently asserted that John Black murdered his daughter without cause. Soon, find out what this fake Abigail or Kat has to say about lying. Philip Kiriakis is returning home. The two-week spoilers for Days of Our Lives indicate that Philip Kiriakis will be returning to Salem in the fall. He has been away attempting to establish a life with Chloe Lane, his first love. But the most recent scandal at Titan Industries might force him to return to his hometown. He might also wish to challenge the will left by his late father. Moreover, in return for a medicinal serum, his new brother Xander Cook Kiriakis would choose to hand Kristen D. Mara command of Titan Industries. His wife's spinal cord injury might be healed by this medication. However, there is a cost associated with days of our lives for Dr. Rolf and his medical miracle. According to teasers for the second week of days of our lives, Philip might try to unseat whoever is in command. Whether Xander gives Kristen full control over the business or not, Philip might want to take over his late father's multinational corporation at this point. Watch this space to discover out. Nancy is curious about Joy's pursuits. According to teasers for the second week of Days of Our Lives, Nancy Wesley worries about her daughter Joy. The youthful performer makes love to Johnny DeMera. But who else gives the brunette's attractive head a turn? Nancy can be overburdened with her flamboyant daughter. On Days of Our Lives, does Joy notice anyone else? Discover on the Peacock Sudzer the weeks of October 21st to November 1st, 2024. What kind of chaos will Philip Kiriakis find when he returns home? Before the year ends, he might take over Titan Industries. And lastly, Cat Green, sometimes known as Abigail Devereaux, has a melancholy tale to share. Is she really the dead daughter of Constantine? Days of Our Lives October 22 Spoilers, Johnny's Ignorance Knows No Bounds Chanel is curious as to her husband's behavior. 
The spoilers for Tuesday, October 22's episode of Days of Our Lives show that Johnny lacks common sense since he keeps moping and stewing over an issue that might be resolved with one simple question. Incredibly stupid and dull. Johnny observed Alex engaging in sexual activity. Johnny surmised that Alex was having sex with Chanel, his wife. Why? Yes, for many reasons. A few years back, Allie, the sister of Chanel's last girlfriend, Johnny, and Alex had a threesome. They are going to pretend to be lovers on body and soul right now. Alex and Chanel would therefore undoubtedly be having sex right now. At the office. That was a foolish assumption to begin with. Instead of questioning Chanel about it, Johnny chose to stick with his fantasy and keep making up facts to support it. Johnny was unaware that Chanel was in error, even after she spent the entire day in the hospital due to back spasms. As Johnny continues to lie to his wife about why he is acting strangely, we don't even think that seeing a video of the incident will cause him to reconsider. It's about who you know. Bonnie is now a major player on the Salem soap opera, influential enough that people approach her to ask for favors. Next up is Nancy, who is hoping to land her daughter Joy a TV part by visiting her hometown. How should I proceed? Stephanie, the woman Alex was actually sleeping with, is unsure of how this would affect their friendship. So she discusses it with Jada. Alex is also perplexed. He then discusses it with Justin. Although it seems like they ought to discuss it with one another, who knows? For more of the latest updates and behind-the-scenes secrets from Days of Our Lives, make sure to hit subscribe and ring that bell. Stay in the know with every new release.